Hello everybody out there, Chris here and welcome back to another weekly comic book haul. This week we got a nice amount of stuff, there's a nice amount of extra stuff. We got the comments and we got the comics. Next week's going to be a huge week for comics, but this week was a pretty medium week. News, this Tuesday everybody, Comic Frontline will be here. As you guys can see, we are all geared up. There are still trailers. We have a trailer that's going up on Monday. We have, I have a few trailers that I'm going to be doing uh, this weekend. There's a lot of stuff we're planning. There's even more stuff. The more we talk, the more stuff we're coming up with. We have lots of stuff for you guys to enjoy, and that is going to be beginning this Tuesday. Look forward to tons of videos, starting with the live show and continuing forward. Series have already moved to uh, Comic Frontline as we speak. Um, so there's just tons and tons of stuff going on on Comic Frontline already, and it's not even launch day yet. As far as Dark Avenger Inc., on Monday I will be giving the final video. I will be posting and uh, the final video, which is our closing of the channel for now. Who knows, maybe in the future things will uh, point us back to Dark Avenger Inc. Maybe Dark Avenger Inc.'s YouTube channel will serve a purpose for something. But for right now, we all have to focus on Comic Frontline, so it is goodbye for, to Dark Avenger Inc. for now. That's really all the news I have for you guys. Look forward to Comic Book Corner. Last week, uh, I know you guys are wondering, you know, where have I been on Dark Avenger Inc.? I've been MIA because I've been doing lots of extra work um, outside of the Internet. I've been doing a lot of stuff in general. Uh, so um, work gave me some extra hours, so I wasn't able to do as much as I wanted to. Uh, however, I will be doing the goodbye video, and then I will be starting up with this week's books on uh, Comic Frontline, I believe, um, or next week's books, actually, is when we're starting. But we have tons of series coming anyway for Comic Frontline, so I have other stuff that I'm going to be posting on Comic Frontline starting on Wednesday. Not Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday is the live show. So let's get into the books this week. Um, what I was saying on this channel is Comic Book Corner for Volume 4 of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Collection will be coming soon as well. Uh, Ultimate Collection Volume 5 I will get in a little while from now. So, we've got Superior Carnage Annual Number 1. Mike is so happy that The Punisher is back. Issue Number 1. Mike's going to be trying Loki, Agent of Asgard, issue number one. I have news about next week's books, though. All New Invaders, issue two. Superior Foes of Spider-Man, issue eight. Green Arrow, issue 28. Phantom Stranger, issue 16. This is, this, I want to see, is this the variant one or this is the regular one? I think this is the regular cover for a Sonic Universe, issue 60. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Color Classics, issue, Volume 2, Issue 4. These are thicker now. Hinterkind, Issue Number 5. And those are all Mike's books. I don't know how his got on top of mine. But anyway, next week, uh, we uh, X-Force Issue 1 comes out. This will be the second Issue 1 that neither Mike nor I uh, are interested in. Uh, we both did not get Miss um, Marvel this week. You're going to notice you're not going to see her here. Next week's X-Force, I'm sorry, but after the um, two separate X-Force books and looking at the artwork for the book, I'm not too pumped for X-Force right now. If I'm proven wrong, if somebody does get it, uh, let me know in the comments below how X-Force issue one is. Uh, that's coming out next Wednesday. Let us know how it was, and maybe we'll give it a shot. Continuing on, Arkham War, issue number five of eight. Action Comics, issue number 28. This is a very nice cover. Wish I could say the same thing about the book. Detective Comics 28, continuing Gothtopia. This is the only book that should have Gothtopia. Black Widow, issue 3. Earth 2, issue 20, thank God. Jay Lee only does the cover. Wolverine, issue number 1. This is a number 1 complete. They restarted the series again. I got the animal variant because, like the baby variants, if I don't like the book, at least I have a nice cover. We have Green Lantern. I have to take it out for a reason. Issue 28, along with Red Lanterns, issue 28. The flip book. All involving Supergirl turning into a Red Lantern. Joy to the world. Forever Evil, issue 5 of 7. I'm going to save this for last. Batwing, issue 28, continuing Gothopia. Swamp Thing, issue 28. And in your local comic shops this week, for free, is issue number 3 of the all-new Marvel Now previews. Thanks to this book, I now know I do not want Iron Fist if... Uh, this is going to be the artwork. 
very, very sketchy. Also, I know we're not getting Electra. If this is going to be the artwork, very watercolor painty. We're not getting that book anyway. Silver Surfer looks interesting. All new uh, Inhumans looks awesome. Oh, by the way, Mike, I have news for you. Mike doesn't know this until now. There's a new number one coming out. With the series end comes a new series beginning, X-Men Legacy, issue number one, starring Nightcrawler. So guess what Mike's going to be getting. And it's written by Chris Claremont, and I believe the art is going to be by uh, Chris Samney, because it says Samney on the cover. So we're going to have a new X-Men Legacy again. Oh, joy. Uh, Moon Knight. We have some artwork from Moon Knight. Moon Knight's art looks interesting. Miss Mar uh, Captain Marvel's in here. I like the artwork there. Magneto's book's obviously going to be in black and white. And then Wolverine and the X-Men, issue number one, the restart. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting also. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll try Iron Fist if it's a light week, but I'm not too happy with the artwork I saw uh, in this preview. But then again, artists change every other story arc anyway, so what's the thing? Extra stuff this week. This week, with the comics, came some exclusives. This week was... Um, a Harley Quinn glow in the dark uh, previews exclusive pop vinyl figure. The face, anything that's white, basically the face and the the pom poms, I believe, are glow in the dark. I know the face definitely does glow in the dark. Had to get it. You guys know I love Funko figures, so that was one. Could you put that on the table? Thank you. And then Michael actually got the Iron Man space suit bobblehead. We didn't know it was a bobblehead, but bobblehead a pop vinyl figure. This is from the Iron Man three movie series set thingy. And then we are going to be talking a lot about, um, we are doing Toy Chest, and um, since I saw the series in Japan, I loved this specific thing. Of course, America did it differently, but I had to get it. Uh, Mike and I actually went half on um, most of the stuff I'm about to show. We actually ended up getting the um, um, Super Mega Force um, Power Ranger Morpher. This is originally the Go Kaiser. Um, I hope I'm saying it right. Basically, the power, uh, the Pirate Power Rangers, Go Kaiser. It comes with keys to all the different series of Power Rangers. Unfortunately, because America didn't have all the keys for all the original uh, Power Ranger, the uh, thirty somewhat series that were in Japan, all the American Morphers are gonna have are the twenty-five years worth of Power Ranger Generation keys instead. These keys are a lot smaller than the Go Kaisers. Um, what do you call it? the original Japanese morpher and this morph is actually a lot smaller and a lot hollower than the one that was in Japan as well I only know this because I know people that actually own every single thing from the Japanese series the morpher came with the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger and the Super Mega Force Red Ranger and Mike and I actually got the full wave one of the Power Ranger keys however only two came before today and that's the Mystic Force and the um, Lost Galaxy is this? Yeah, Lost Galaxy. Uh, we have the other five. Well, there was seven in the set, so we have the other four still on the way. Oh, this. There were seven series, so we have five still coming. Sorry, four are together and one is separate. So you might see those in next week's haul, but they probably won't be in the packaging. Mike's actually going to be doing a review of the Super Mega Force more for as soon as we get Wave 1's worth the keys at least. I don't know, I saw Wave 2 already and Toy Wiz wants like almost $30 for the keys and that's just not going to happen, that is a waste of money. We got these keys for literally $5, so. Now on to the comments. Nick, my man Nick always leads the comments off. Another great haul. First, uh, is Comic Book Corner going to move over to Comic Frontline? I've said this a million times. Yes, Comic Book Corner is moving over to Comic Frontline. However, I still owe you guys on this channel two more Comic Book Corners. We're going to renumber it on Comic Frontline. So the first Comic Book Corner on Comic Frontline is going to be issue, uh, episode one. I'm going to continue the numbering on here for two more episodes. I'm giving you Ultimate Collection of the Tur Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 4 and 5. After Volume 5, Comic Book Corner is going to end on this channel and move and stay completely on Comic Frontline. Second, from Mike, when is your next DVD review going to be uploaded and is it over to Comic Frontline? No, oh. I, did, I just want you to know I didn't do the one that you did. Oh, last I know. Time. I was just saying I did do the uh, cool, uh, the Return of Cooler for Dark Avenger Inc. 
I will continue on Comic Frontline, whether it be regular movies that already came out, but I will still continue on with finishing Dragon Ball Z here and there. From and I will be uploading Mike's cooler review on Dark Avenger Inc. along with the reviews of comics he's done already. I have, as I said, guys, I've been very busy, so I haven't had time to upload Mike's re reviews. I'm probably going to shoot my goodbye video either tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to upload Mike's videos and then save mine for last, so those will be the last set of videos on Dark Avenger Inc. Uh, third, do you guys miss the Radical picks on your review? Uh, for those of you that didn't know, uh, leading up to episode 100, um, Radical Comics, uh, I had a bunch of trade paperbacks. Yes, I did enjoy those books, but we have so many other amazing books now that I do miss Radical doing the Radical reviews, but I have lots of fond memories and I have lots of awesome stories from Radical. I, we do miss adding stuff to the review, but we have a lot of amazing books that we still review, so we miss it, but at the same time we have lots of other things that we're enjoying reviewing also. Um, I, I watched the comic reviews. Fourth, what was your view on pre-New 52 lineup of Secret Society of Supervillains? Pre-New 52, I have no opinion because I really didn't care for the Secret Society pre-New 52. Fifth, uh, of all the titles for the New 52 that have ended, which ones did you wish uh, should have not ended, uh, and which ones did you like the most? Justice League International. I really enjoyed it, but it all ended for a reason, obviously. Booster Gold disappeared. He's going throughout time now, and International separated into several different things. Another series that I didn't know about until now that I wish wouldn't have ended was, um... Oh, God, I forgot the series. The series that Mr. Majestic was in. I forgot. It was a seven. I can't remember the mm. full one, but... Mine's always Hawk and Dove. Yeah, Mike always wanted Hawk and Dove to stay, so... Those are the series I wish didn't end. Jay, Great Hall, love the power, those power morphers. I don't get uh, the skipping to wrap up all you did um, was say pick up or not. Pick it up, uh, pick it up, your thoughts and opinion. Oh, not pick it up, your thoughts and opinions are the reason why I watch them. I agree, Jay, I don't know why anybody would want to skip my comic reviews to the very end. I want to hear those, not just the recommendations, because everyone has different opinions on the book. So what you say, um, so uh, what you say, pick up. I might think is a don't pick up. Q boys to men. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Okay, Spice Nug. Hey Chris, I like the nightlight you got as well as the Power Ranger Morpher. Uh, Morpher, I guess. Morph thing. It's the Power Ranger Morpher. Uh, that you got. They look cool, especially the nightlight. My questions are, number one, who would you have uh, playing the role of Peter Parker in a TV series of Spider-Man? No idea, actually. Number two, Zoid or Squirrel Girl, uh, Zod or Squirrel Girl in a fight? Zod, duh. Do you think we'll ever get the grown-up version of Jean Grey back permanently in the Marvel Universe. That depends on the writers. I mean, we still have we have the teenage version right now. Maybe she'll grow up. Four, uh, fourth and finally, if not Catwoman, then who should Batman fall in love with? I think Catwoman is the perfect person for him to fall in love with. I, really, there's no other connection, I feel, for Batman. As for the round out at the end, of, uh, at the end it doesn't bother me personally. That it's gone, as ironically, that was the only part of your videos that I skipped. Thank you, Spice Nug. Anyways, as it came after, oh, since it came after the reviews, I really gotta read the rest before. Cat said that Spider-Man Nightlight looks awesome. And that's it for the comic book call from last week. Now we go on to the indie review. I knew who was gonna lead it off already. Nick. Actually, Nick is the only one that commented. Another great indie review. First, what if next year's big crossover for IDW was that the TMNT was the big, oh, big focus? Shoot, that would be spectacular, actually. A second of all the Golden Age heroes for DC Comics, who is your favorite besides Superman? Batman, um, Golden Age, hmm. Batman was a favorite, Flash also. Uh, third, Chris, have you or Mike ever done a video about talking about certain superheroes that you really like and go into reasons why? No, we have not. Fourth, why do you guys think that Dark Horse is not that big on doing that many ongoing series or having a shared universe? I don't know why Dark Horse is like that. Um, I enjoy all the stuff that comes out of Dark Horse. 
Uh, Dark Horse Presents has a lot of, like, this is what's going on in our universe, little stories here, there, and everywhere, and they become comic books, some of them. So I do feel like Dark Horse has a, a universe. They just like to keep everything in its separate title. Also, one other thing, do you guys think that the current volume of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will possibly be the longest volume to date for the series since volume one was 62 issues long? Yeah, I think this volume is going to go way beyond 62. I think this volume, hopefully, I mean, knock wood, we're only halfway to 62, um, but hopefully the series will um, go way beyond 62 because... I think this time it's pulling very strong, and it has a very strong following, at least in my opinion. We'll see what happens with IDW. It's all up to IDW and the writers. I mean, if the writer leaves and we get a new writer and it doesn't go well, the series is going to end. Now into comic book review 222. Nick, are you hoping the Jean Grey from the, uh, from the past does not die in the trial of Jean Grey crossover? She's not. Second, do you guys think that anyone else from another universe will come over to the mainstream universe soon? I don't think so if it's not Miles Morales third. Could the casting of Lex Luthor and Alfred Pennyworth be a good topic to talk about in a Comics Point Three episode? No. I think I've talked I've said my piece on several different in several different places, and I have nothing left to say about that stupid choice for Lex Luthor. Fourth, did you know that the current storyline in Uncanny Avengers will be ending next month? Eh. I'm not reading Uncanny Avengers. I'm sorry I gave up on that series after the first story didn't end for like seven, eight issues. Spider Man 1991. Hey, Chris. Oh, it's Spidey. What do you think of the new Jeff Johns and John Romita Jr.? Uh, work, they're talking about working over uh, a Superman story arc in this summer. Not a fan of John Romita Jr.'s work. Um, Jeff Johns is an awesome writer. Hopefully, the artwork won't hinder his story. Do you think Earth 2 Superman can be saved or redeemed? This reminds me of the last two episodes of Superman the Animated Series. That's what everybody tells me. Yes, I do think he can be redeemed, but I think he'll end up leaving Earth for a while. I think if they do manage to snap Superman out of it, which is very, very likely, um, Superman will leave Earth for a while or he'll go off on a quest or will think he's dead and he won't be dead. But besides that, I think Superman will try to find a way to redeem himself. But until then... I think that after this story arc, if if they don't have to kill him, I mean, we do have a new Kryptonian that was um, introduced now to the Earth 2 universe. Maybe Superman will leave and this character will become the new Superman or Super Somebody, maybe Superboy. Who knows? However, um, I don't know what's going to go on with Superman at this point, but I do believe he can be redeemed if they snap him out of whatever brainwashing he's under. And with that, guys, that's it for this weekly comic book haul. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Don't forget this Tuesday to check out Comic Frontline. We are going to be... Um, oh, thank you for that. Uh, we are going to be doing a huge launch week, uh, huge launch week events and a huge launch day live show. Thank you. I screwed up my words there. So definitely check that out. Don't forget to check out ComicRelated.com alongside ComicFrontline.com. We are together your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole lot more. And we are going to be adding a lot more to those comic reviews. Anyway, guys, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys in the next video or in the next review. Take care, everybody.